Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 21st question from CBSC Class 10, 2023-24. Sample question paper set 2 for Mathematics Standard with subject code 041. Section B where each question is of 2 marks. Now this question is from the real numbers chapter. A forester wants to plant 66 apple trees, 88 banana trees, and 110 mango trees in equal rows in terms of number of trees. Also, he wants to make distinct roots of the trees that is only one type of tree in one row. Find the minimum number of rows required. So let us try to understand the question first. There is a forester who wants to plant all these trees and he wants to place the trees in such a way that there are minimum number of rows. Minimum number of rows means he has to plant maximum number of trees in each row. So we have to find out first how many maximum number of trees that can accommodate in a row. So when we are talking about maximum number of trees, we are talking about the highest common factor of 66, 88 and 110. So let us begin by finding the HCF of these three type of trees. Let us start with first the apple trees that is 66 numbers. So finding the HCF by using prime factorization method. Use only prime numbers when you are dividing this number. So the easiest one we can start with is 11. 11 is a prime number. So 11 6 times is 66. And then 6 goes in the table of 3. And 3 2 times is 6. And finally we are going to write 2 1 time is so we got the factors of 66. So let me write down over here. Next, let us prime factorize 88. So 88, again, I'm going to start with the easiest number that is 11. So 11, 8 times is 88. Then we can start with 2. 2, 4 times is 8. And then again, we can divide 2 with 2. And then finally, 2, 1 times is 2. So the prime factors of 88 is 11 times 2 times 2 times 2. So let me write over here. Finally, let us concentrate on the mango trees that is 110. So again, prime factorizing it. So 110, again, I'll start with the 11. So 11, 10 times is 110. And then we have 5 as a prime factor. So 5, 2 times is 10. And then finally, 2, 1 times is 2. So the factors of 110 are 11, 5 and 2. So let me write over here. Next, once we have got the factors of all the three numbers, we have to find the highest common factor. For that, we have to circle out all the numbers which are present in 66, 88 and 110. So we can see that 11 is a common factor for all the three. So we are going to write the HCF of all these three numbers starting with 11. Then let us see if any other number is present. So 2 is there in all the three numbers. So over here and over here. So times 2. So there are no more any common terms or common numbers. So our HCF is going to be 22, which means in each row, there have to be maximum of 22 trees. Now let us see how many rows are required. Now to find out how many rows are required, we are going to add the total number of trees and just divide it by the HCF. So let us find out the total number of trees now. So total number of trees are 66 plus 88 plus 110 and that will give us 264 trees. So these are all many trees and maximum in each row there have to be 22 trees. So the minimum number of rows required can be written as total number of trees divided by HCF to find the minimum number of rows. So here total number of trees we got it as 264 and HCF we had got it as 22. So dividing it we get the value as 12, which means we need 12 rows and in each row there have to be 22 trees to accommodate all these different types of trees. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. 